Always talks about him. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. The next stage we're tackling is... Shaving Lenny. Get and give him a very close shave. Alright. Oh, just another day at CSI uh, Morocco, right? Sir, we found him. Bertie was right. He's in Hope, South Dakota. And the girl? Yeah. She's not <laughs> with him. Aw, oh, man. The girl's not with him. Okay, uh, people. Listen up. I'm giving a green light on this operation. I want 47's head on a platter in front of me ASAP. Sir, don't you think that our priority is on reacquiring the girl right now? What? Don't question the no, boss, man. Need. First, we neutralize the rogue element that started this mess. He don't know where she is. Trust me. We get 47. We get the girl. We can't afford to fuck this up! <laughs> he doesn't look like the leader of the agency. He looks like... Send in the saints. Oh, God, no. Not the saints, please. No. Oh, God damn it. And that's a really weird picture of 47. I'm... Assuming that was some rejected, uh, rejected art from earlier in the stage. You know, Birdie said that Jade was a low-level agency person, but she's clearly moved up in the world. you think Birdie would know that, but oh, I guess he doesn't know everything, huh? Okay. Huh. This town looks pretty shitty, huh? Oh, who's this jackass in the pink car? Who the fuck are these guys? Oh, it was Lenny. I don't know what he's gonna show those guys, but I guess they're his friends or something. Alright, so here we are in Shaving Lenny. And there's a lot of people to kill. We grab the girl from under Dexter's nose, sell her off ourselves. And Tyler, he's already in touch huh? with the competing arms company. We're talking <laughs> six figures, man. These dudes Damn think they're in the 1950s or something? Mr. Dexter is not someone that you want to mess with. Mr. Dexter is not someone... No, 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 no. So, yeah. I guess that's the, that's the thing with Hope, is that everyone thinks they're in the 1950s. I don't know what that's all about. So, you're the first you guys who got to kill Landon Metcalf, and... Huh. Oh, someone was really bored last night. Landon Metcalf, and... Gavin life, LeBlanc. Limp man's bidding. Oh, weird on, names. Man, show some grit. Luke and Mason are in too. It, it'll be like the old gang. Nobody has to know. Oh, they don't seem to mind you us see, listening in on their moment, secret man. conversations. Need to figure out where they stashed the girl. Hey, you know you can't park there, boys. Uh oh. Yeah, and yet we did. Yeah, well, I don't suppose you'd pay a damn ticket anyway. Yeah, I mean, why bother? I just take it out of your salary. <laughs> Oh man. Look, Gav. <laughs> Wish I could talk to a I'm cop like straight, that. Man, you're either <laughs> with us or you're against us. Okay? And we both know what that means. Mm-mm. Look, I gotta head over to the garage and put some pressure All right, on the so boys. We wanna kill uh Landon or Save whatever the, the fuck that guy's the more nervous guy. We wanna kill him first. And I'm gonna do that by heading on over here. Now, there's two people who could possibly see us kill Landon, so we're going to take out this guy right now here. And choke him out and leave him there. And I pick up this brick, and here he comes now. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Gavin LeBlond. His name's Gavin. What kind of name is Gavin, by the way? I wonder how these people thought up these names. So there's another cop right there. And, uh... We can't have him watching us, so I'm gonna wait until Gavin comes over here and toss the brick. You heard that, right? Okay, so why are you just standing around with your thumb up your ass? All right, big tough cowboy, I'll go. <laughs> All right, big tough cowboy. Hmm. All right, there you go, right in there. There, quick and easy. Okay, okay. Anybody here? And, uh, I guess it's a pool of, uh, oil or something. Where are yeah. You? Come That's on. oil, alright. 
Not a pleasant way to go. Well, there you go. Let's check out this mural before we go any farther. Dexter Industries protects you. Benefactor of hope since 1958. And two conversations going on at once. That's going to happen a lot in this stage. And uh, everyone there is smiling, even the dog. Except for the lady who looks like she either doesn't trust Dexter or her wants to get him into bed. I'm kind of thinking it's the latter. So, um, I'm going to head over here where our second target is, uh, likes to go. Going back and forth. There we go. And here we have an opportunity to listen to more conversations all at once. Nice day, huh? So, uh, Mr. Oh, yeah. Tyler Colvin over here likes to check out this this car here. Um, on the road. What's it say? Yep. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's his car. So Although it doesn't really seem like a car he would own. I mean, he's a big time gangster, right? So. What we want to do is we want to let loose the the gasoline over here gonna help us create a, an explosion there we go now you got to be careful because you can get spotted if uh, you get this guy going over here you know, he starts talking to you and then he looks at you and then you release the gas and then he sees you and then everyone shoots you and of course then you have these guys also talking about some shit you know, Darnell, why don't you just quit your yapping and fix the car? Alright. Um, I think I'm just trying to kill time because Tyler Colvin and the third target, whose name I forget. Oh, Happy Week. I love that show. <laughs> oh. Um. Man, I'm gonna miss got some more shit fun. to say. Now with Lenny's boys back, Mom so, one thing I want to point fan. out is that the Don't voice actor on the right is hey. terrible. Absolutely fucking horrible. Nope. Wonder who he is. New meat for Ma. She's gonna have that. I'll tell you right now. What? <laughs> oh man, give me the goose skins. Poor son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, that bald-headed slicker, he don't look like no trouble to me. So, let's you and me go get some. That's coffee. gross. That's a good idea. I don't know. Well, Maybe his mother's a milf or a gilf. I guess. So, speaking of coffee. Here's the only coffee place left in town who's open, and, yeah. One thing I've noticed about this stage in particular is that there's a lot of, uh, ambient dialogue that refers to, you know, hints in the game, ways you can kill your target. But, uh, that doesn't really have a place in this game, because if you're playing on normal, all the hints are right there in your face anyway. We gotta pick up a little, little tool. But we don't want that guy to see us because he'll 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 kick up a fuss. So we gotta distract him. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, a lot of ambient dialogue, giving hints is kind of a an old school thing. It's a good thing because it requires the person playing the game to pay attention. But of course, when you have a difficulty setting that gives you all the answers right up front, there's really no point in having the dialogue there, right? I mean, I did play the game the first time on Extreme, but because the game's so unbalanced, uh... I don't know. So anyway, as soon as you go up here, this guy decides to come upstairs. I don't know why, but he does it every time without fail. And, uh... In case you're wondering why I'm fucking around so much, not going after the targets, that's because I'm killing time until those two guys come together in the same spot. And we're going to use that rifle I just picked up to take them out at the same time. It's going to be glorious. Alright, so here comes Tyler Colvin. Into the Green Mountain Store or something. On, there he is. Alright. Sorry, sir. The store is closed. Perhaps for good. You're going to have to take your shopping elsewhere. Yeah, you should take your voice acting elsewhere. What the fuck are you doing? I sure hate to see this what? place go. Tom. You didn't see that? It's part of the town. Can uh, you okay. talk to Lenny? Maybe he could put in a good word for you with his dad. Borrow money from Dexter? Are you kidding? That that they'd be like kissing a beehive. Huh. Don't worry, Lucy. Me and the boys, we got something planned. 
Yeah, Something right. Big. Just between you and me, I'm gonna be out of here real soon. For good this time. So, oh, no, maybe, uh, it seems like the only thing they're selling here are guard gnomes dressed like Confederate that. soldiers and beer. I mean, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's really no wonder this place is going out of business, huh? I mean, once you have a full set of Confederate guard gnomes, uh, why would you need any more? You know, I mean, I mean, unless uh, Lynch visits you and shoots them all, I guess. And don't tell anybody. Yeah, don't tell anybody. So, if you don't like me talking over these guys fucking talking, well, too bad, because honestly, their conversations aren't that interesting to begin with. This lady's fucking stupid. She can't see the guys stealing money right in fucking front of her, so. Alright. Um. This was a level that they showed off at E3, I think, or one of the game, game things. I think. Yeah. So anyway, he's busy looking oh, at the wall. Okay. And I want to be in here There's while this guy leaves. So, I'm going to sneak in here. There we go. going to look at the back of 47's beautifully rendered head. Okay. It's, it's levels like this you begin to understand why developers make everything gray and blue and, and brown. Because when you make a when you make a character bright, uh, you can really see, uh, you know, the graphical imperfections. Although I gotta say, uh, the light filtering through his ear there on the right is really wonderful. I mean, you know, the light is actually passing through the thin parts of the cartilage and creating a, a different uh, a different look. So that's pretty amazing, I gotta say. All right, so he's gonna head back down to the garage and look at that car. Who knows? Maybe he's eyeing it. Yeah, he's going right over there. And where's the other guy? There he is. And I think at this point I'm a little nervous that he might not show up at the same time, but he does in the end. So. While they're getting ready, I'm going to pick up what I can. There we go. And, uh, God, that's a lot of beer, huh? It's almost as much as that beer as that guy in Chinatown. And there's explosives here, too. Pretty sweet. Alright. Almost time for the show. So, as all of you know, if, if someone is seen being shot, your cover's automatically blown. Um... Which would be a problem, but in this case, we're going to shoot the gasoline. There we go. He's dead. And now while everyone's paying attention to that, we're going to shoot this guy too. Goodbye, Landon. All three targets are dead, but the show isn't over quite yet. <laughs> nice. Yeah, is that it? I think I think there's more boom going on. Oh, shit. Uh, can't you see I'm watching something? Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, man. Yeah, that's it. Don't interrupt me. Oh, is that it? I think there's one more. I think there's one. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Alright. It's actually a good thing this guy showed up because now we have some new attire. Of course, no one knows we did it, but... In the next section, we're going to need a uh, police officer's outfit since 47 isn't allowed there. Hmm. Remember to book Waikiki. In? What? Huh. There's a bunch of shit over here. Uh, this looks like someone drew some stuff on Dexter. Dad's rifle, getaway car. Huh, so they don't have a getaway car or a plane ticket. Maybe that's why Tyler Colvin was eyeing that red car over there. You know, because uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't stick out too much. Um, and it was probably cheap. Of course, now it's just a, a pile of twisted metal. Alright, so we're going to head down this alley here, but we don't want this guy to see us. And away from him to turn around. There we go. No, I said right now, woman. You got a killer on the loose. I'm up to my ass and body's here now. Get going, goddammit! And needless to say, everyone's scared shitless, so that's gonna make uh, it much easier for us to escape. Let's 
just gonna head down here, and I'm gonna use my candy dandy instinct to talk on the radio. Now, uh, the guy I threw into the oil pit, I could have led in here and and dropped this car on him, but I did because that's a pain in the ass. And here we are at Todd's Barbershop, or at least the entrance to Todd's Barbershop. There we go. I could have picked up more points if I hadn't, uh, you know, blown up half the town with the bomb, but hey, um, I, th I was having fun, so there you go. Okay, so here we are at the barber shop where Lenny's hanging out, but we still have two more people to kill before we snatch up Lenny, Todd's barber shop. I'm not gonna duck. Almost got spotted there. So here's uh, Mason McReady. That's a cool name. It's much better than Landon Metcalf. Excuse me. Say, come here. You ever put the siren you see this bottle? Just blast me see what it says? Just for kicks. Uh, Seriously, spicy sauce? I'm dying That's now. right. Now I do believe that I asked for hot sauce. Uh huh. Presently seasoned sauce or wuss flavored sauce. Hot sauce. Lenny just took out 50 men. What? Fifty men? I must have missed that part. Sauce? I think not, my friend. I think not. Uh, uh, I'll go get another. Yeah, you do that. I want hellfire hot. Something that'll make your head explode. Huh. Well, that man really loves his hot sauce. I'm sure we can do something for him a little bit later, but we're gonna hold off on that. Is that bacon? Is that bacon I smell? Yes, I think it is. All right, so, um, I would like to go through this door, but these two guys are blocking the way, and I, uh... Hey, ooh, I found you. Huh? Oh, do I get a gold star now? What? Fuck you, man. I, can't you see I'm busy? Ugh. Oh, smartass. Right, so, one way you can kill this guy is by electrocuting him when he goes to take a piss. That's normally the way I go, but I'm gonna take a different route because I'm trying to have fun with this too. <laughs> I know fun and absolution doesn't really go together, but hey, I'm doing my best. All right, let's head in here. So, uh, okay, get that curtain out of my face. In the E3 version of this game, there was a barber up here that you can murder and take his clothes. Um, as far as I know, the barber doesn't exist in the finished, uh, the finished version of the game. But that's good because it means we don't have to deal with hiding another body. So, uh, the main objective to this part is to, to kidnap Lenny so we can find out where Victoria is being held. And you can put him unconscious and drag him out, or you can dress up as this guy over here. I'd say that there's a pretty sharp likeness there, right? And here's his outfit, just lying there. I don't know where the barber is. Maybe it was his day off and Lenny's gang didn't know that. Yeah, looking, looking pretty spiffy. There we go. So, uh, yeah. As the barber, we can go anywhere we want, as far as I know, and we don't have to worry about using instinct or anything like that. So, it's pretty sweet. Now, Lenny's heading up there. And it looks like they're watching that porno from uh, <laughs> the Terminus Hotel. Hey, hey, hands off the pizza. We made it especially for Lenny. Oh. You know, Chicago style. What? That is not Chicago style. Oh. Okay, so here's Luke Wheelie. What kind of name is that? Um, and he's a pretty easy guy to kill. You just have to wait for him to walk to a certain point. Uh, let's let's get uh, Lenny's attention here. He's got something funny to say. <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, what the fuck? Those fucking cops behind Lenny won't shut the fuck up. You're ruining my let's play, you fucking... Oh, okay. Alright. Like I said before, there was a lot of problems with people talking over each other, ruining everything. 
Let's try that again. There we go. Get the bottle. You never know when you're gonna need a bottle. Where's Lenny? There he is. Watching. Yep. Lenny's pizza. Really should. Getting the respect I deserve after a long time away. Hello, sir. Oh, getting us respect I reserve. Hey. You're new, aren't you? Yeah. Oh well. You know what they say here. Uh, a man who, uh, who who argues with the barbers should have his head examined. Let's go. <laughs> That's a great saying. I'm gonna use that someday. Although I usually have my mother cut my hair since it's free, but hey, I'll, I'll say that to a barber and, and see what he or she says. So, these guys sure do love their cougars, huh? Kind of makes me think... Maybe these people never... Making it big, too. Oh, I love that movie. Um... Fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Hands off the pizza. Yeah, I already heard that line, you fucking douchebag. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up! It's not Chicago style. Chicago style's super-duper deep dish. So, I just picked up the lighter fluid there, and that's gonna help us, uh... You know, hey, give, uh, give Mr. Hot Sauce... Oh, hey. Yeah, I, I haven't seen you in a while, too. Cool. Yep, yeah, drinking your beer. Alright. Um... Hey, step off a little bit, pal? What? Schizophrenic much, dude? Hey, schmuck. Too huh? uptight to say hello? What the... Fuck you! Asshole. Ugh. Alright, oh, he's coming up soon. Oh, what are you guys doing? Shooting dice? Hey, yeah, well, he's excited about that. Uh... I'm fine, thanks. How are okay, you? Okay, so here, here he comes with some better hot sauce. And uh, I guess he's gonna put it on the table there. Oh, what? How did he do that? Was that magic? H how did... What? Huh. Uh, wow. I I'm, I'm speechless. Uh, <laughs> this hot sauce is a big hit, huh? And I think the guys have been spiking their beers with you. That sounds Go gross. Grab me another one, would you? One more super hot sauce coming up. Okay, so we want to beat Mr. Super Hot Sauce coming up to the source of the sauce because we want uh, Luke, oh, sorry, Mason McReady to have uh, to have something super hot, you know, something that's gonna really melt his fucking face off. You know, that's actually a pretty good idea. A, a can of hot sauce that looks like a can of lighter fluid. I mean, well, maybe it's not really a good idea. Maybe if they made a can that, that looked like it, but was different enough so that you know it's fake. You know, like the orange chip of a toy gun or something. Um, right. So. Uh, over here in this section is where you want to get, uh, Wheelie, whatever the fuck his name is. That's the perfect place to kill him. You can kill him with a fire wire really easily. And I think... I don't think there's any special way to kill this guy, unlike all the other gang members. Kind of a disappointment, but hey. And and Lenny's over there waiting. Um, when he sees you in the barber outfit, he'll say his little line and he'll sit there patiently waiting for you. Uh, for as long as you want. Um, he won't get up unless, you know, you, you set off a huge explosion or, or go on a killing spree. And I'm waiting for this guy to continue his route, but of course... Seriously, dude, I'm a fucking barber. I work here. What about you, huh? I mean, when did you graduate from high school? Like, 1992? Jesus. There's nothing more pathetic than people who are living in... Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's it. Fuck you, dipshit. Burn, motherfucker. Burn. Burn. Yeah. Alright. So... I was waiting for this douchebag to come over here so I could kill him, but he's he's so disturbed by the sight of his friend burning alive, he's just standing there. And, yeah. So, at this point, I throw a bottle into the corner, hoping that this guy will come over here and check it out. But instead, I actually got the attention of a couple people outside who were about to ruin my kill. Here we go. But of course, uh, the people over there come in. Yeah. Alright, let's pretend that never happened. So, Mike Wheelie is dead, and he's in this bin here. And now, ugh, excuse me. And now, all we have to do is get 
Lenny to the barber's stool. So where'd you get the rags from, man? Dead homeless guy? Alright. Come on, say your line, you the fucking... You? What? You're not even oh, well. looking at me. You know what they say here. Uh, you know, you man, think that guy, Blake Dexter, would have gotten his son some help? His head I mean, I know Dexter's a nasty guy, but... I mean... You know, he's rich. He could have at least... You know, he limps, but he doesn't do it when he walks down the stairs. I just noticed that. Um, but he could have gotten some kind of help, right? Or something? Hey, I don't here. know. Hold on, huh? Hey. What was it? Oh, yeah. Go fuck yourself. All right, come on, Lenny. Get, get your fucking limping ass over there. See, That's just sit down. I like hope. Hey there. Ain't enough for a guy town? like me. Oh, really? I need to sit tight. That's where I thrive. Oh, really? Now, Chicago man, that's me. I could run that town. Mm-hmm. We went down there to pick up this chick. Oh, really? This bald guy thought he was gonna stop us. Oh, his shit, boys, really? He was the man and shit. <laughs> his boys. <laughs> told me to take him down. I must have killed 50 or 60 of them. One shot, one kill. That's how I roll. <laughs> like, this girl, she was real fine too, dog. Uh huh. I had to smack her around a little bit. Yeah. She, she, she was oh, real really? scared. Was crying and shit. Mm -hmm. huh. 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 I think she liked it. I told her where I stood. I'll tell you where I stand, you fucking <laughs> motherfucker. You know, pop, huh? <laughs> you know your yeah. place. <laughs> All right, stand real fucking still here. I'm gonna show you where I stand. I, I liked that in the barber. Yeah. What? What the? Lame. Right, so we're treated to a stilted, uh, sound fucked up scene, and that's it. So you're gonna have to wait until next time to find out what happens to old Lenny. <sighs> Let's see here. Oh, there's a bunch of shit we don't care about. Hmm. Alright, so. That's it for Let's Play Hitman Absolution. I'm Nick Meister. I'll see you next time. Huh. I wonder where the sledgehammer is.